Hi students, hi. Hello. Hello. Hello guys. So today we are going to read Where the Wild Things Are, story and pictures by Maurice Sendak. So we really hope you enjoy our performance and we'll see you soon. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Where the Wild Things Are, story and pictures by Maurice Sendak. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another. His mother called him Wolfie! And Max said, I will eat you up! So he was sent to bed without eating anything. Hmm. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. And grew and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and all the walls became the world around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through night and day. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars. And, and gnashed their terrible teeth. And rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws <laughs> till Max said Be still! and tamed them with his magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once and they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all and made him king of all wild things Oh, oh, hail the king! Hail the king! And now, cried Max, let the wild rampers start! Now stop! Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all the wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Mm, I'm sad. Then, all around, from far away, across the world, he smelled good things to eat. Mm, it smells delicious. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried... Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, No! The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. <laughs> but Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. Goodbye. And sailed back over a year. And in and out of weeks. And through a day. And into the night of his own room where he found his supper waiting for him and it was still hot the end hello we care students we really hope you enjoyed our performance and now we're going to ask four questions and answer them to the best of your ability so the first question is what did the boy say in? second question what was the boy's name the third one what was the color of the boy's crown? 
for one, how many monsters were there? Okay, and when you, when you answer all the questions, you can write them down and you can let us know. And we look forward to seeing you when we see you. Goodbye. Bye.